is up YouTube world. Gary here and Auburn and apparently Ozzy from GBL Iguanas. Let's get a little bit more light here to make it a little brighter. So today we are giving a little special treat to all of our animals. We've got some nice papaya. Um, the seeds are actually okay for bigger animals too. We'll talk more about papaya, but we're gonna give some papaya to everybody. So we're actually gonna be up here. We're gonna start with the beardies. Uh, and then we'll work our way around to the iguanas and the tortoises. They all just absolutely love this stuff. So uh, let's just get right on to it there, how shall we? Yeah. So this is a little difficult for me to do with one hand, but there's a spoon and there's some smaller bite-sized pieces I put in there just for them. Now our boy Ozzy here has never had papaya. Now once he tastes it and figures out what it is, he'll probably love it. Get a move it, dummy. <laughs> and there he goes. So papaya, it's, it's very soft, so it makes it very easy um, for them to. Yeah, you gave him. That was a very big piece. But thankfully, papaya is very soft, so he'll be able to crunch all that stuff down. Um, it's really, really, really good treats for any animal that can eat fruit. No, nope, that actually might just a little bit, a little bit too big. He kind of spit it back out. Get some smaller pizzas. I just gave them one. Lucky, and those are day old greens, so apologies for the crunchy greens. But uh, papaya is really, really good for any animal that can eat fruit, really. Um, it's really, really, really good for hydration. There's a very high water content to it. Um, so serious. Who does it better, Auburn or Ozzy? Well, Woo! they call me. Um, it is also, uh, there haven't really been necessarily like, oh, there he goes, like scientific studies, so to speak, that show the anti-parasitical values. Um, but it is, I don't want to say folklore, but it is something that is pretty well known throughout the reptile hobby. Um, that papaya and then the seeds are just known to be anti-parasitical. So by giving that every now and again, it helps to cut down on some of the, the negatives, uh, the negative stuff in the bellish. Yeah, so Ozzy had a couple of his little bites. Now let's go to Little Miss Peaches. Look at that pretty orange beard. Yeah, say that to your girlfriend and see what happens. <laughs> Peaches is always a little bit weird when it comes to veggies and fruits, but apparently she's all about it, if she can get it. <laughs> she's just like her mama, special with eating. So obviously that's a big hit. So peaches is uh when it comes to bugs, she goes crazy. When it comes to you know fruits and veggies and grains, she's always been a little bit funkier. But man, she is uh <laughs> she can pick up that papaya. That's some good stuff for her. Pull the greens out of the way. <laughs> Just stick it out her tongue. Funds of bearded dragons with trying to grab a a soft wet piece of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious, that poor him. Here, let's try it this way. Let's just try taking a little piece and just and holding it. Your yeah, babies. Yeah. That's not fun. Here, baby girl. Ooh, there she goes. <laughs> Perfect. Didn't even get my fingers, but I'm gonna wipe it on. Alrighty, so Peach has got hers. So let's uh, let's go down to Bo. He should be really fun to see uh, if he wants a treat. Oh, and there's our little boy, uh, our hypo bull snake. Uh, we're thinking we're gonna name him Griff or Griffin, Gryffindor, whatever, because we have little Miss Hufflepuff. Uh, he finally just got him to eat a, uh, a frozen thawed fuzzy for us. Uh, actually, earlier today, we've had him two, two, three weeks, something like that. And I think it's just because the room was a little bit chilly. Um, put a heating pad under a small section of his cage um, just so that way he has the warmth if he wants it and it seems to work. All right, here's some our Bobo. How dare you bother me? I don't get if it's a treat. I was enjoying my son dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me, I can't see you. Bobo is a funny little dude. 
if he ever decides to go and taste it, I'm sure he will absolutely love oh, it. Oh, that's Probably. A little special. Maybe he's just a little camera shy. Maybe not. Hey, Bobo. Grump butt. Little oh, grump butt. Just like your mother. that she wants to. Yep. And literally the second we walked away, oh, he started going after it. What a goofball. Well, Harley's kind of hiding all the way back there, so I'm gonna be a little tough to get it. Well, oh, Peaches is getting more. Excuse the dirty glass, our little girl. <laughs> she got green. She likes uh, scratching all over the place. A little butthole. But yeah, she's loving that papaya. Oh, good morning, Harley. So you've been just waking up from a nice little nap. Harley is all about it. Oops. Yeah, we punch him, get it. I think we've shot enough beardies. I think the people really want to see the iguanas. And the tortoises, too, because the tortoises will go to town on some papaya. So let's... uh. We'll work our way down there. See you down there in a minute. Let's try the YouTube trick. <gasps> and here we are in the other bedroom upstairs because I forgot we have three more iguanas upstairs because I'm special. So in here is one of our spare bedrooms that it is a work in progress. Please excuse the mess everywhere. We are working. Uh, so we got Tammy in there. We got a little Tiffany in here. Ooh, this should be fun. Those are too big. Um, underneath the big pieces in there, some smaller pieces. Okay, I thought I did smaller. And snorty glass. These are the softer pieces. Okay. This should be very interesting with her. So, perfect example of. Even an unsure iguana, you give them a good treat, they're gonna come right to you. So she's definitely coming and checking out that papaya. So she is, uh, she's one of our Lewis Eye uh, probable females. We actually aren't 100% on her exact bloodline. We got her with, uh, you know, hoping for some pretty sweet stuff, but uh, we'll see as she grows up how she turns out. She is a pretty little thing for sure. God, she saw all those rings too. We gotta, we're still working on getting her an upgrade, so please don't judge the small cage. It's just a, we have the bigger cages, we just still gotta move stuff around in the basement, redo the tortoise room, so we can make some room for it. All right, and here we got our Tammy girl, who apparently she just wants to go and get uh, what she wants. <laughs> Whatever. Just to show you, papaya is such a good treat for these guys. I mean, you can see that they just go right for it. Tam here, well, you can see her, uh, this is where her wound was. You see it's healed up really, really nicely. It's just like, basically like white skin now, which over time and through sheds, that'll get even better. But, what is it, Tams? Sweet girl. Look at that sweet baby. Yes, this makes for exciting video. Well, this shows you what a tame rhino iguana is like, at least everybody. Once you gain their trust, they are just absolutely perfect. Now we're on to the basement. And we're back in our uh, dark, dark basement where we've got... Hey, you just need to... Oh, Ron's been scratching at the door since we came down here and he just left us a little uh, surprise. Hi, boo -boo. So we're gonna come on in here and see him. Hey, Ron, Ron. And then we got our big boy Sully over there. And Bindi is again in the corner. Holy cow, make two pieces so they don't fight. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, I didn't see the second piece. Hey, here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> see, they love papaya. <laughs> Going crazy right for it. <laughs> he is just too funny. He's like, nope, this is my papaya. I'm going to go eat it over here. Yeah, they got the jaw pressure. Ron, 
and there's Bindi. Yeah, Bindi's back there, tucked away in the corner. Yeah, we're actually getting ready. The the cage that they kept escaping out of, we're getting ready to finally get that fixed up so we can move uh, Ron and Tammy back into it so Bindi and Sully can have this back again. I really don't like, uh, even though it can be done, I'm not a huge fan of this this cohab with the multi-males just because I feel like it's going to be not quite big enough and too much stress on her. And then the boys fight a little bit. But, give me uh, can I have one more small piece for get Sully to come over here to me. I want to get all that skin off. And, food. <laughs> God, he is too funny. He's got all this itchy, itchy skin. Okay. <laughs> guys are just too funny. Like, they're not like this with each other over just normal food. This is just... <laughs> this, this is like the, the forbidden fruit for them, apparently. Ron's trying to fight. <laughs> I got a little bit of mulch on there. That's not a, a humongous deal. I mean, that, that tiny little bit will pass right through. Hey, Sully. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. So we should let them just finish all this. <laughs> Goodness gracious, these goofballs. Rhinos are funny, man. I mean, I love my Luna size, but there's just something about rhino opalines that is just too freaking funny. Can you two behave? Can you two, can you behave? Get all those skins off you. And like I've said in other videos too, never pull off skin that's not ready to come off. Um, this is all stuff that's very, very clearly just ready to come off. So helping him just get it off is gonna feel good for him. But you know, it's just gonna be super itchy. Yeah. Oh, and there he goes. All right, gotta go visit the rest of your fam. Y'all you enjoyed your papaya. All right, so now we're in here with uh, some of the other Lewis sides. We got Freddie and Sky, who, once they realize what's going on, they're probably gonna come running. For the papaya, he's wanting to. He is eyeing it. You're being weird. Yeah, yeah. I called you weird. What you gonna do about it, punk? Uh, okay, I guess Auburn's just gonna give it to him. <laughs> what this is? in there, just popping some out. Freddy's just... Sometimes I really wish I understood what went through their brains. Honey, can you get off his tail? She's not really on it. Well, I don't want him to like... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got a little brave there. Here. Yeah, we can give them another little spoonful at some point. They're big enough. There go. And so, okay, so the bigger guys, we'll give them the seeds. Um, the seeds, I think, have a lot of the, the really good effects for their gut. So, we got a Freddy boy. We got Crazy Sky. <laughs> That's my papaya woman. Yeah. What a bunch of goobers. Oh, guys, I got them. There we go. All right, so now we're over here with Baby G and Gabby. Baby G down here. 
Gabby's up there. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before she works her way down. Because she loves fruit. Oops, try, try to get the tripod set up here. There we go, there we go. Make it a little bit easier. And she just came running. So like I've talked about in my taming video, this is a really, really, really perfect way to tame. And something's going on with that dome up there. Gotta get that fixed. And they broke that other one. Gotta love lizards. But yeah, so once you get these lizards to where they're, they're not completely psycho, you give them a good treat. I mean, you can see she just came running right down from up there to, to come and get this now. She's actually letting me get pretty close here because she is fixated on that. And our Gabby girl I never really talked about, she's actually from our good buddy uh, Sam Piscucci at Florida Guana Tortoise Breeder. Um, she comes from a nice high blue line from him. And she's a, a really good pair for Baby G here. They were just a match made in heaven just right from the get-go. Let's take a little piece and... So I gotta just go nice and slow. Ah, don't get my hand, you little goober. Yeah, that bulb needs to just probably get completely tightened. It's probably loose, loose. That's weird. Turn sorry, it back what? on again. What it's because it's loose. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what can happen when your hand smell uh, has the juices on it. Now, the good thing is, a food bite from one this size, that didn't really even hurt. There's no marks or anything. It's just more of don't mess up want it to happen, especially if they get bigger. Man, look how pretty she is just standing there. All right, now these crazies, these are our lesser Antillian iguanas. Um, they've already done a lot of their spazzing. You can see one of them right back there. You see it's starting to I think that's actually the male. There's a male and two females in here. You can see it's starting to change color from that like bright lime green. It's starting to change more towards that olive green. I would just leave some for them up top because they're just crazy. Oh, where did he go? There you go. Oh, there's two of them back there. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, that looks like Louise. She always has a crazy eye to her and she's always the spunkiest of them all. Oh. <laughs> They're such cool iguanas. They really are. All right, so now we're in here with our boy Diego. Oh, we got some leftover Missouri. We'll uh, we'll get out here into the dirty basement. And Diego's another one. He uh, he loves his fruits. <laughs> Apparently, he loves sneezing. So what, the little bits we have left, we have a nice chunk that we saved for the uh, the Aldabras. But everything left, we got for our boy Diego. Yeah, come on, buddy. I know you love papaya. I've given you some plenty. Hey, ooh, what is this? Such a good little treat for him. Oh, he wants to go for that big piece. Now, Diego is one I do not want to take a food bite from, because obviously he is... I mean, I've gotten teeth from him, too. Uh, obviously, he's quite a bit larger than Big G, quite a bit more jaw pressure. Um, so even a food bite from these guys, their teeth are gnarly. Um, yeah, she's she's gotten a food bite from him. I, I kind of have a little bit. He's, he's kind of got the side of my knee once. True blood. Not a big deal, but... Tell me he's not loving this. He's getting treats. He's getting pets. Oh, yeah, buddy. Everybody just loves Diego. Speaking of Diego, on our website, gbliguanas.com, where we have all sorts of really fun stuff in our shop. Shirts, hoodies, tank tops. I mean, we've got all sorts of stuff. 10% off the entire store right now. Promo code is Diego10. Diego one zero for ten percent off the entire store. That water needs to get cleaned out. Oh, <laughs> shaking it up! 
And that's funny, like for something so simple, like just as simple as just watching a lizard eat, it's so entertaining. Like just watching them kind of go to town, watching them use their, you know, I don't want to necessarily say natural instincts because obviously it's right in front of them, but just watching the that behavior of him, you know, picking through, I mean, even through picking through greens to, to not get to papaya, using that tongue to figure out what it is. It's just awesome. Diego's such a good boy. Look at that big old tail. Look at that big old belly. some attention to. You want to get left alone, buddy? You want us to go bother the Aldabras? Yeah. We'll go see the Aldabras now. Alrighty, so we're in here with our Aldabras now. So we had a couple leftover bags of mustard greens that uh, needed to get fed off. So we don't give these guys greens very often. We typically stick to like the hays and grasses and cactus pads. But today they're gonna get some nice uh, mustard greens and papaya. This is the room that we actually are uh, are gonna be redoing. We're probably gonna just wait at this point till warmer weather. So once we move these guys back outside, it'll just be easier. This is eight by four tortoise table where I'm gonna take apart and then I'm just gonna take these side pieces that we've got and basically just build a little perimeter here in the room, give them a lot more space. And then once we do that, We'll free up space so we can put a put like a table or a stand on the back wall or over here, and that's actually where the cages will go for uh, the two younger Lewis sides that are upstairs. These guys are just so funny. They just they are just still kind of little scaredy cats. They're getting a little bit better. They're also getting huge. Just weighed them the other day, and I mean they are just you water? probably. He actually is weighing a little over 6,000 grams, um, which is getting pretty uh, pretty decently sized. So if I'm not mistaken, that's a little over 6,000 kilograms. One kilogram is like 2.2 pounds. So he's, you know, he's probably pushing 13, 14 pounds now, but still just that really awesome, perfect shell just on all of them. They're all a little bit chilly in here. They have their, their heat over here from their basking lights and their UVB light, but I uh, we were in here yesterday, apparently I accidentally unplugged the space heater in the room, which would normally keep the ambient temperature in you know, the mid 70s or so in, inside the room itself. It's probably in the high 60s right now from that heater getting unplugged. So they, they all seem a little bit chilled, especially this one right here. I think this one's, I think this is, no, this is Phyllis. Good old Phil. Yeah, she's a little chilly. We'll get to the papaya soon enough. Alrighty, well, apparently they are still full from their, uh, they had a Big, big, big meal of, uh, of a lot of cactus yesterday. So apparently they are still full. So uh, you saw that Fredward had a couple little bites in there, but uh, <laughs> once they start to uh, to digest a little more. What on earth are you doing? See, this is, these guys are just crazy. I love them so much, but what on earth? Um, oh boy. But anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. Of course, as normal, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it definitely means a lot. It helps us do a lot to grow on the channel. And it goes a long way towards me getting help from... So yes, everyone, until next time, shalom.